Now that you've prepared the release site and collected the necessary information, it's time to physically release your biocontrol agents. There are a number of factors to consider when determining the best approach, including how many, how often, when, and how. As a general rule of thumb, when you have just one release container, it's better to release all the biocontrol agents together at one part of an infestation than it is to spread those individuals too thinly over multiple infestations in the region. Releasing all the biocontrol agents within a release container in one spot will help ensure that adequate numbers of males and females are present for reproduction and it reduces the risk of inbreeding and other genetic problems. Guidelines for a minimum release size are uncertain for most biocontrol agents, but releases of between 50 and 300 individuals are encouraged. Releasing more than 300 individuals would be advantageous under some conditions, but shouldn't be necessary. Often, a single release will be sufficient to establish a biocontrol agent population, especially if a large number of individuals are released. Additional releases may be necessary after a few years if your initial releases failed to establish. For species or locations where establishment is likely to be slow, for example, sites with high levels of overwintering mortality or large, dense infestations where biocontrol agents are easily missed, planning to make releases on the same site for two or three consecutive years may increase successful establishment and reduce the time until biocontrol agent impact on target weed populations is visible. If more than one release of a biocontrol agent is available in a given year, be sure to put some distance between releases. Two-thirds of a mile is ideal. If possible, make more than one release per drainage or in adjoining drainages. If one of your release sites is wiped out by flooding, fire, herbicide application, or other catastrophic disturbance, then biocontrol agents from adjoining release sites can repopulate it. Biocontrol agents are most often released during the weeds growing season, usually in spring or summer. However, the absolute best time for releasing your desired biocontrol agent depends on the stage of development for your target weed species growing at your release site and the stage of development of your biocontrol agent population. This type of information can be found in many useful extension publications, such as the Field Guide for Biological Control of Weeds in the Northwest. This and other useful publications can all be found at ibiocontrol.org. You can also contact your local or state weed biocontrol authority for timing suggestions specific to your area. Once at the desired release location, open the release container. When releasing adults, gently shake out all biocontrol agents and weed foliage in one small area. Do not scatter biocontrol agents throughout the infestation. Do not walk back over the area where you just made a release. Make sure the plant material in the release container does not have any weed seeds or roots or other organisms present before dumping the contents out at the new site. Take care to dislodge any individuals hiding in or clinging to the paper towels in the release containers. When transferring stem segments infested with biocontrol agents, take bundles of 20 to 50 stems and fan out one side of the bundle to provide a supportive base. Place the fanned bundles upright within dense stands of uninfested weeds. In less dense infestations or at windy locations, tying the fanned bundle against uninfested plants or a fence may aid in successful establishment. Four to five bundles should be used per site, though more or fewer may be required depending on the infestation size. Make sure you don't spread weed seeds or roots to new sites, as this may introduce new genetic material. Also try to avoid spreading other plant or insect species to new sites, as this may be accidentally creating new problems for the future. Releases of all biocontrol agents should be made under moderate weather conditions mornings or evenings of hot summer days, and midday for cold season releases. Making releases under these conditions reduces the immediate dispersal of stressed biocontrol agents when they're dumped out of the release containers, and it can significantly increase the probability of establishment. Avoid making releases on rainy days unless the biocontrol agent being released is a rust fungus, which do better under moist conditions. If you encounter an extended period of poor weather, it's better to release the biocontrol agents than wait three or more days for conditions to improve, as the biocontrol agent's vitality will decline with extended storage. Avoid transferring biocontrol agents to areas with obvious ant mounds 
or ground-dwelling animals that may prey upon some species of biocontrol agents. <laughs>